Hi, I welcome you all to the Crypto Sync Show. What's happening with the Bitcoin pricing? What are the price targets? Everything on today's show on charts. So before we move on, please do like, share and subscribe. Now let us understand what's happening with the Bitcoin market and uh, what are we, where are we heading to and what's next? Well, there's nothing much and uh, the volatility that I see is been the least that you could see it in a Bitcoin, right? I mean, you're seeing more of volatility or more of uh, fireworks in the stock market than actually the Bitcoin. Now, why is this? Let me also tell you something that S&P, the US stock market has had the maximum outflow of stocks ever in the history. In the history means including 2008, including all these years, it's not a small figure, which means that this is called the tax selling. Now, what is tax selling is basically when they want to show that the companies, they show they're in losses and they do this for the tax selling. But this has been the maximum ever till date, which is a huge, huge proportion or uh, a huge thing for the markets in general. But the funnier part is, or the something to look into it is that Bitcoin hasn't moved as much from 16,800 to 16,700 was still consolidating and it's been the least in terms of movement. Now, how important is this? Well, this is extremely important because short term, this means that we are bullish. Now, why we are bullish is also understand that today, if everyone has done tax selling, what does this mean that Jan, they're going to come back Christmas time. You always have Christmas, New Year's, you'll always have selling coming in. Now, what does this selling mean is that when they all come in, they're going to start buying these things. Now, when they start buying, now they will have eventually the crypto markets at a low to buy. Now, Jan, I think they would start buying it in. So I don't think there's more selling happening right now. So I personally think and always remember one thing. Whenever Bitcoin has had the least volatile moves, it has meant that it's ready for a bigger move, either upside or downside. Now, I don't think we're going downside. I definitely don't think we're going downside, but we are. It seems like we're going to the upside because the tax selling has happened. New Year, Christmas, holidays, everything. The money has outflown from the stocks, from the tech stocks, from everything. And Bitcoin hasn't moved, which says a lot. So I think we're ready for a bigger move. Now, this big move could be anything. But the point is that again, let me tell you that my long term target price target for Bitcoin still does not change. We're still looking at 12, 13,000. But what we're going to look into today is all the other charts or all the other cryptos and see where we can buy them or sell them. So, so let me move on to the charts and let us get into the charts of all the other cryptos and let me pull that up for you. So here is the chart for the Bitcoin and you see this move has been coming in. This move came in here. We went down again here and this has been again another move where we went down and then this another move where we went down, but this is consolidation. Now, this means in the shorter term, we are going up, but in a longer term, we are going to go like this. So this is what is going to happen in terms of Bitcoin. And uh, well, the price target for Bitcoin, I've I've already told you that my price target for Bitcoin is around 12,000, which definitely coincides with its previous supports. And if you actually come and see the trend line here, if we actually see, look at this trend line over here. So this is what we've been looking at. So this is the kind of trend line that we've been looking at. And this is where Bitcoin has always found resistance. It was hard to break out. Once it break up, it break up from here. It did break out from here. Look at Bitcoin where it went. So this is something that I think is a strong, strong resistance, which would be around 12,200, 300, which I personally think will come in a longer time. Now let's get on to everyone's favorite, which is Matic. Now this is where Matic is, right? We're trending down on it. So this in general is like a bearish flag. Again, this is not a bullish flag. So this is where 
a real support i would say a strong support would be 63 cents you look we've always this is where the support has always been it touched down went back down touched again went back down then it broke up and then it went flying so this is a resistance where i think that support where we have for matic and this is where i think 45 cents would be a great price to buy in matic so we're talking about prices to buy these coins into. So 45 cents and 62 cents from my point of view is what I think should be a good price target. Now what's happening with Polkadot? Again, we're on a kind of a see downward trend. And uh, so this is, this is where we touch, we go back, we touch, we go back. So I think we're gonna go back. Now if we wanna know the price targets on Polkadot. Now look how these trend lines work, right? I mean, Let's say this is the trend line. I mean, this is where we've been going on in Polka dot, but I personally believe that this is where the trend line would actually be, would be around this level, which would be 3.9 or four level. So I think four is where we would have a strong, strong support for Polka dot. So I think around 3.9 to four is a good level for Polka dot to, if you want to enter Polka dot. Now this is again ADA which has been going again, has been on the trend line and I again personally see this going down. So look, you have to understand that all of these coins are making this bear flag on a longer term. Look at this bear flag. So we might go down. For the shorter term, we might go up and then again go back down. And I think around 20 cents would be a good support for this, for ADA as well. So. And there's another coin that I wanted to talk about is Solana. Now Solana, if you see, actually, if you go here and see, after this drop, it's just been holding on. It's not going down further. It should have dropped by now, but it's been holding up to this price. I mean, look at this. So it's been holding up. So around $11 we have, but I think what I see with Solana, I think, uh, if all the cryptos are going to go down, of course, this is going to go down, but this has started holding up and it seems that it is getting some life into it. So this is what is happening with all these cryptos. This is what is happening with Bitcoin. And again, same if we see Bitcoin on, let's go on for a four hour chart and let's see what's happening here. So, so what's happening with Bitcoin right now, I personally believe is on a four hour chart also, this seems like a, it's still holding up. It's still holding up. You see, there's no volatility. Like it's literally lying flat. It's going from 16,800 to 16,600. It's been lying flat. So this definitely means that we're looking for a move up right now. And I've been explaining this since a long time that I personally see, this is a bullish consolidation that you are seeing over here. This is a, flag and this is a bullish consolidation now this is what is happening but again this is what i see as a longer term again this is the flag now this is a bearish consolidation happening so i see this going down now this is where i see and this is where i think that we might go around 12,500, which is my price target now there's something which i actually want to put out what is happening is with this which is gold now look what's happening with gold exactly the opposite of what's happening with bitcoin it's unbelievable look this is a flag and this is it this is the bull flag that's being formed and this is where we are heading to and this seems that we're going to go up now gold is actually performing gold might just perform better than uh, bitcoin in this in these few months but longer term again i am extremely bullish on bitcoin I'm extremely bullish on Bitcoin, but for the shorter term, I think gold is outperforming and gold is outperforming quite a bit. And it still seems that it is. So it's re it's here for a little bit of a pullback because it's just gone up too high. I think we're going to see a bit of pullback. And then once that pullback comes in, gold is consolidating for a higher level of pricing. I think within a year and a half, I see gold going around 50% plus. So maybe 2024 you might see gold being up from these levels to another 50 percent up which is huge so don't ignore gold 
but again longer term i think 2024 after bitcoin making a bottom would be up by 100% so i think bitcoin has a bigger brighter future but again gold cannot be ignored and this is what is happening in the bitcoin charts and this is what is happening in the crypto markets so i hope you're liking the content if you are please do like share and subscribe signing off gunpreet singh from the crypto singh show bye bye take care